What's up, YouTube? So it's Sunday. I think I've been up around 4 or 5 in the morning. We call it Martha Stewart. I call it cleaning. <laughs> uh, but, <clears throat> yeah, because I have to take the garbage out. So it gives me a head start. And y'all yeah, gotta know you gotta walk down four flights of stairs. I think it's four or five. I don't remember. And then outside. So nice and early. Um, I haven't made a video in a while. Um, the last one I did was about a dog rescue where I found a dog. Um, and I was waiting to hold off to find the owner. I was kind of hoping it would be a bad situation where it'd be a bad owner. You know, one of those where you see people that have dogs that don't want dogs or. <clears throat> shouldn't have dogs well it turned out that uh we found the owner after a week later and then uh give him back to the guy and as much as you want to keep a dog and be sad because it is an english bulldog if you know me i want an english bulldog for life like <clears throat> for longest time ever they're just like two grand dog <clears throat> but we gave it back to the owner and found out his name is diesel he's an english bulldog just a year old and the guy bawled so i mean not just like cried a couple of tears actually fell on the ground and bawled so it was a good thing that he went back to his owner even though we were quite sad and got used to him and our dog got used to him too but all in all he deserves to be home in a loving home huh yeah yeah so other than that we are on a boil water effect in our place actually because they turned did something with the street the other day and then warned everyone that would be on a boil water situation so we're on one so i've been up boiling water because well we have a we used to have two gerbils now we have one so he needs water to drink from our dog needs water to drink from yeah and a gecko and he needs water to drink from so we've been boiling water we got a few jugs in the fridge and then starting to make more so they can actually be cold and not lukewarm so in the meantime you don't got boiled coffee when you go get it i wonder how because they're right there i don't know if it's because it comes out of their machine crazy hot because it's from the water itself mm. it never has to sit like ours and then be turned on i don't know anyone know boil water effect how a coffee place still runs is it right it, across the road yeah right across the road is it because it comes from the water and it's naturally hot running all the time compared to a house where it sits until you turn it on who knows so yeah the dog boiling water um the only other news is that <clears throat> i have to cancel my appointment for dr aiken on the 9th which is coming up which is fine because i was a little iffy on going then not because i didn't want to go financially and other stuff going on but it turns out i can't go ha <laughs> so not just my reason a doctor told me to cancel and recancel so i'm gonna cancel on september 9th for my appointment in edmonton august 9th yeah august 9th wait you said september yeah 9th. august 9th yeah my god you're out here <laughs> august 9th um <clears throat> for my appointment with Dr. Aiken, which was for a hysterectomy. Um, but because my whole testosterone is kind of out of the loop, when she called me the other day, um, it's really low. Like, I guess it's low for normal, but it's quite low. So what we're doing is on the 9th, I, go, I have my next shot. Um, so I'll be going to the doctor to get my shot. And no, wait. No, hold up. On the 9th, uh, it's not my shot, I'll be going to get my blood work updated. So what they want is for me to, like on the 9th, me to go get my blood work done at 8 in the morning, between 8 and 10 for my testosterone and everything else, levels checked, and then that following week, then I get my shot, following week, blood, following week, shot. So kind of like that. To shot, blood, shot, blood. Yeah, shot, blood, shot, blood. You See? Blood, shot, blood, shot, blood. See? Shot, blood, shot, blood. I need a side co-host, like those shows that everyone has on the side. Gabby's my co-host. I'm, what's that bitch's name again? Which one? From New York, which one? Oh, Vanna? Yeah, Vanna White. Yeah, Vanna White. <laughs> Vanna. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we'll have to do that. So get in the, the routine of going to the blood work early, between 8 and 10. Always remember at 8 and 10, because if you go anytime after, you have to come back to check your levels. So we'll start that. And then we'll be start going to the doctor to get my shots. Um, 
also, which is good because then I won't have to buy some needles and stuff because I'm fresh out of the syringe cart, or is that what those are? Yeah, the things that you shoot them in with, but I have plenty of needles, but if I go get it done, they can do it, they have all the stuff, so we'll be doing that. So other than that, we gotta keep an update. I'll have to call. I'm about to witness the strength of street knowledge. Pause. Okay, so missed phone call. Thought it was a doctor because I really tend to answer the Edmonton area code. It's not. Somebody looking for Otto. You know Otto here. So. That's the alien. Yeah. <laughs> or the guy off uh, Sons of Anarchy. Otto, he's the one that. Oh yeah. Lost his tongue and stuff. Like, so yeah, I'll uh, keep you an update. I can't call Monday for to make a new one because it's a long weekend here in Canada. Uh, so I'll have to call Tuesday, which is fine. Um, gives me time to write all the dates down because I prefer Monday or Friday. All those other days kind of sucks when you work nights and want to sleep. But at least if it's a Monday, I get sleep on Sunday because the weekend's off. And if it's a Friday, well, no one gives a crap because at least you can sleep Saturday. So. Those are my options. Other than that, <clears throat> not a lot going on. The thing that's going on in town today where we live, actually it was Saturday and Sunday, but I'm pretty sure they got rained out Saturday. Centerfest, it's like uh, they pick a spot downtown every year to kind of shut it off on one of those side streets. And then like street performers do a bunch of different stuff and then it's all free, but they prefer you to make a donation. So you kind of, a lot of people throw change in the street for them and stuff. You got people who, swallow swords and all that different stuff so i'm not sure what's going on this year um but that's what's happening in our city this weekend other than that uh, <laughs> um other than that not a lot going on guys um so keep you updated on when i make the new appointment for sure hope you guys are all having a good weekend um i don't think i'm missing anything but i guess you can always make a new video oh yeah check it so I don't know what size we are now we went hey cabs she knows anyways so I went to a new size we used to be double O's and then we went bigger than that and then bigger than that so I think she said we're a half inch I'm not really sure but <clears throat> I want it to originally like I'm back to these things again what I want is the ones that put a hole through like not a hole through your finger through so we're waiting on that when I went to buy them, that's all they had left. So, I bought these. And then some guy at work called, called them candy cane earrings. And I was like, they're not candy cane. Um, but they kind of color, I guess. Yeah. So anyways, that beeps for Martha Stewart to go switch over laundry. So, peace out, guys. Hey, ah!